I think what's really cool about Tufts is kind of this component of open-mindedness and wanting to, to make these discoveries and these advancements in the field. Having someone propose a research project that doesn't have much background or like is very new and saying, you know, okay, like we trust you and we know what you've done and we know where this could go, go do it. End of high school, senior year, I had a, a random class and they were like, oh, do a project on something that interests you. And I had just watched a documentary about the food industry and it was the first time I had ever seen anything about it really. You know, I obviously like went to the grocery store, bought my food, had been to farms, but never really connected everything that was going on to like create this food system. Um, and so I saw this documentary and I decided to do this project on it. And that kind of just like launched me. And I was like, I can't go back. I know all of this now and I want other people to know all of this and just kind of got hooked. And now it's just really like, I feel like everything I do is almost centered around this like focus on food systems. Kind of started hearing about Tufts Friedman School and how they're kind of a major player, you know, within nutrition, um, which wasn't something I wanted to do. But then I found out that they have this agriculture, food and environment program, which is what now I'm currently in. And it kind of just aligned perfectly with what I was studying in undergrad and what I was interested in moving forward, working with farmers, working with food policy. But I've really found that through my education here and the experiences I've had, I've just also become more confident in myself as a person, you know, outside of school. And I think that's just because I have been like pushed and supported. I think what's really cool about Friedman is there's so many awesome professors and staff and faculty that have such unique research. We are all here focusing on something that touches everyone and reaches everywhere, and you can't do it without this community movement. It makes me proud of myself for the work I've done. I think, you know, being able to put, put your all into something and then have someone recognize that um, and have the means to then help you continue to do what you've been doing and to continue to advance um, your studies and continue to, to hopefully go on to make these impacts that you have been making and want to continue to make. Um, yeah, I feel very lucky that that's, that's able to be recognized. If you are able to, to donate not only your resources, but also time, it just really makes a difference and an impact on the students. You know, as I said, if you can, you can have that personal connection with someone who's been where you are or who wants to help you, it just is so motivational, you know, to continue doing what you're doing and to, it allows you to go above and beyond as well. It allows for great, you know, spaces like we have here to um, help with learning and to help with experiences and research. And, and I feel very lucky to be in a place that has so many resources because of really generous people.